Bible, what is it worth? Basic instructions before leaving earth. Life is full of struggles and it is void. But we are made in the image of God. Lord, I have to praise you to the moon and back. I don't see anything wrong with that. Lord, it's me you help. Lord, it's me you help. Lord, it's me you move. Lord, it's me you move. Lord, it's me you touch. I love you so much. Oh, my Lord, I have to say thank you. Open my eyes. What do I see? Have I inventoried my life lately? Welcome to Holy Bible Study and Discussion with Jerry. Oh, Lordy, Lordy, to God goes the glory. God goes the glory, the glory, the glory. All right, welcome to Holy Bible Study and Discussion with Jerry. Our mission to provide the knowledge that will train sisters and brothers in Christ to spread God's love and create disciples. Our vision to share all resources that will aid in the knowledge necessary for the building of God's kingdom. The adversary does not know what to do with those who possess integrity. We are not human beings on a spiritual journey. On the contrary, we are spiritual beings on a human journey. With that being said, we will open this Holy Bible study session up with prayer. So please join in. O Holy Eternal Father, Son, Holy Spirit, it is once again that we come unto you as humble as we know how. We thank you for the Holy Spirit which leads us to all truth. We ask that you open our hearts, minds, and souls to receive this portion of your word in saturation as a sponge to water. Thank you for allowing your grace and mercy to find us. We thank you in advance for what you are going to do. Manifest yourself to the midst of your people. Thank you for your continued grace and mercy. O oh Lord, our strength and our Redeemer, we pray these things in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen. All right, now, blessings to all. Welcome again. I am Jerry. This portion of our study covers summary of the first five days of restoration. Apparently, this uh, vast universe we live in had been here for billions of years. Um, but something has happened to the earth and to the great deal of the creation. As a result, God moved in. The Spirit of God moved upon the face of the deep, and there was brought cosmos out of chaos. Now, it is time to open our hearts, minds, and souls to the Word of God. Our scripture will be coming from Genesis chapter 2, verses 4 through 6, King James Version. Starting with verse 4, let's read. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created. In the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. Verse 5, and every plant of the field before it was in the earth and every herb of the field before it grew. For the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth, and there was not a man to till the ground. Verse 6, But there went up a mist from the earth, and watered the whole face of the ground. Alright, now it is time for our verse breakdown, starting with Genesis chapter, four, uh, chapter 2, verse 4. These are the generations of the heavens and of the earth when they were created in the day that the Lord God made the earth and the heavens. All right now here are generations refer to divine divisions. It refers to the manner in which all were created as outlined in chapter 1. This presents a new name of God as Jehovah Elohim. This chapter reveals Christ as Jehovah Elohim, man's redeemer. The first chapter reveals him as Elohim, man's creator. We come to what many characterize as a second account of the creation of man. This section, however, is better thought of as a more detailed account of what Genesis 1 described in the um, format of, let's say, panorama. Okay, now the phrase 
these are the generations is a formulaic section header now this introductory statement carries the same sense of this is what happened concerning all right, a feature of the Bible first occurring in the verse before us is the use of the divine name Yahweh or Yahweh now this is traditionally rendered in small capitals as Lord in our English Bibles alright now previously God has been called only by the Hebrew name Elohim a title conveying his transcendence and power the name Yahweh on the other hand emphasizes his eternal existence and covenantal presence with his people alright now um, the combined name seen three times in Genesis chapter 2 verse 4 through 7 and dozens of times elsewhere as Lord God and that's uh, particularly powerful put Lord God all right now this scripture refer this scripture refers to the history or uh, account of the generations of the heavens and of the earth now question where did Moses obtain his account this account so different from the peril and absurd fictions of the heathen hmm not from any human source for man was not in existence to witness it not from the light or of nature or reason for though they proclaim the eternal power and godhead by the things which are made they cannot tell how they were made because they're still light they just light in nature all right now none but the creator himself could give this information and therefore it is through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the word of god and we can find that in hebrews chapter 11 verse 3 all right now moving on to genesis chapter 2 verse uh, 5 and every plant of the field before it in the earth and every herb of the field before it grew for the Lord God had not caused it to rain upon the earth and there was not a man to till the ground alright now the second day of creation is addressed here which obviously proceeded day 3 then when plant life was developed that was the day plant life was developed on day 3 all right, now, it seems that rain came to the earth on day three, which caused the earth to bring forth grass, the herb yielding seed, and the fruit tree yielding fruit after his kind. All of this was before man was even created, showing that he had nothing to do with creation, that being, that being um, altogether of God, all of this God had made happen on his own. All right, now the language here suggests that the writer is not looking back to the creation of vegetation in Genesis 1, but rather is previewing the cultivation that will occur in the Garden of Eden and after the fall. Two features lend support for this view. All right, first, the phrase herb of the field appears again in Genesis chapter 3 verse 18 to designate what humanity will eat after the fall. And second, Whereas the rain anticipated in verse 5 would be a blessing, it is an instrument of judgment in Noah's day found in uh, chapter 7 verse 4 of Genesis. All right, now these verses thus may set the stage for the more detailed account of man's creation that follows, which complements the general description in chapter 1 verses 26 and 27. All right, now let's move on to Genesis chapter 2 verse 6. But there went up a mist from the earth and watered the whole face of the ground. All right, now here this pertains to the day um, 2 of creation at, the, at that time, day 2. There went up a mist from the earth, which prepared the earth for the seed which God eventually planted on the beginning of day three, which rain on day three then brought forth. The exact nature of the mist that rises from the earth is unclear, 
The underlying Hebrew word occurs in the Old Testament only here and in Job chapter 36 verse 27. Now they're translated as vapor. Taken together, the idea uh, may be that of evaporated water that condenses to a liquid state to water the whole face of the ground. Perhaps that's the way it is, or perhaps the water mixed with dust provided clay that the Lord God uses to create man. But for now, that's what summary of the first five days of restoration is all about. Alright, now with that being said, we will close out with a prayer. Oh, Holy Eternal Father, Son, Holy Spirit. Thank you for another blessed study of your word. We thank you for creating us and ask for you to continue to teach us how to serve you the way you desire. Spirit of the living God, fall fresh on us today. We ask that you strengthen us above all measure. As we pray these things, we ask that you allow the words of our mouths and the meditations of our hearts to be acceptable in your sight. Thank you for your continued grace and mercy. O oh Lord, our strength and our redeemer, we continue to pray these things by believing, trusting, and loving you. O oh Holy Eternal Father, Son, Holy Spirit, it is always in the precious name of Jesus the Christ, the Messiah, we pray. Amen. All right, now, thank you for tuning in. Please stay tuned for the discussion portion of the show. You can find Holy Bible Study and Discussion with Jerry podcast on Apple Podcasts, Spreaker, Spotify, iHeartRadio, Google Podcasts, Amazon Music, and Audible. You can find Holy Bible Study and Discussion with Jerry podcast most anywhere you receive your podcast. You can also find Holy Bible Study and Dis- uh, Discussion with Jerry on our website at www.GodInOurLivesEveryday.com That's www.GodInOurLivesEveryday.com Or just hashtag HBS and DWJ That's hashtag HBS space the and sign space DWJ All right, remember to put God first and everything else will follow. Because what? To God goes the glory, the glory, glory.